All right, how's it going? This is Sam Wilker with thinkparticle.com, and this is another video in the TP Toolkit visual documentation series. In this video, you can, uh, or actually, you can find the TP Toolkit at thinkparticle.com first, and it is a plugin, a wonderful little plugin for Cinema 4D um, with a new release, version 1.3, that allows you to uh, go ahead and work with advanced particles in really complex ways, really build your scenes out and do a lot of things. Um, and we've added some new tools. And in this video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorites. It's a really often overlooked tool. Um, it may be. It's a very small and simple one. But uh, by small and by small things, sometimes uh, great things come to pass. Um, and uh, this object is going to help us align our particles. So this is something that is going to be a problem sometimes. Your particles are going to move out, and you're going to clone your objects to them. And you're going to think, well... All of my particles are facing the same direction. I don't want that. Well, how do I make them move in the direction that they're moving? Well, you're looking at it right here. Okay. So, you add your TP alignment object to the scene. Then you drag in your particle group. Okay? And then you have a lot of different settings here. So, we're going to talk about first the types, and then we'll move on from there. So, we have our direction of travel. We have a random direction. Uh, we have world x, so everything will look at the world x axis. We have the y axis and the z axis. And we can invert all of those, by the way, so we can point them in the other direction with the invert checkbox. So we've covered that now. We have a user direction. So we can go ahead and rotate these. Collectively, we just set our rotation settings right here. And you can pick a number or I guess a X and Y, X, Y, and Z rotation value uh, to orient your particles. So it's technically a vector stripped down into three floats, if you know what I mean. Um, and then you can set it to look at an object. So that object right now is that uh, TP alignment object. So the particles will fly out and uh, look at that object. Um, you can have some variation. So say you want 30% variation. Uh, go ahead and set them to random. You can add even more randomness with the random, with the variation. Actually, it doesn't really do anything, but sometimes I like to think it does. You can have them fly out in the y-axis and add that variation as well. So in this case, we're just going to stick with direction of travel, okay? And then we're going to look at the source. Right now, they're moving along their y-axis. If we move along the x-axis, it's going to take the object's x-axis, and it's going to uh, move that particle along its x-axis and also we can do that with the z-axis okay so it depends on the object you're working with so some of them you'll want to work on the x-axis some the y some the z um, but it will move along those different axes okay and the last one is the laziness i'm too lazy to explain it so i'm just going to show you how it works actually that really just kind of does it so, which is why I did it anyways. Um, so, it will blend from where it starts into where it, it ends up. So, laziness value of 5, the particles are going to fly in and then kind of kind of branch into pointing the direction they're traveling. They'll kind of ease into it. Laziness value of 1, they're really going to just kind of jump into it. They're not joking around here. A point 1 is going to be like, all right, guys, let's get serious. And 0, let's just play in hardball, guys. It's intense. All right, so that is the TP alignment object. You add your particle group. You can adjust the different directions it faces with the type of direction, and the source will allow you to say the source, I guess the particle, um, it's going to say which axis is going to be labeled as the facing axis, the up vector of sorts, kind of. Um, so use the source to apply that. Then you can add variation and things like that which is always a wonderful thing to do. So uh, thank you very much for watching this. You can find the TP Toolkit, again, at thinkparticle.com, um, and you can find the rest of the series there as well. And I'm Sam Wilker, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.